Hello guys, this is Community Boost here. We are so excited to share with you how to get $10,000 in Google advertising for your nonprofit through what's called the Google Ad Grant. There are a couple steps that we're gonna walk through today. First is how do you gain access to your Google for Nonprofits dashboard, which is the first step to unlocking actually a multitude of packages, the Google Ad Grant being the most important one of them, and then ultimately applying for the Google Ad Grant. We're gonna get started by typing in here, Google for nonprofits. You can see I've already searched for that. We wanna go ahead and choose the first link that comes up. It's google.com slash nonprofits. Now, if you know your organization's Google for nonprofits account, you're more than welcome to come up here and choose sign in at the top. Today, we're gonna to hit join the program. Now you're going to want to have some information with you already before you get started. Most importantly is going to be your organization's employer identification number. So it asks you for that right down here. We want to go ahead and check all four boxes to certify these different criteria for nonprofits. Go ahead and put in your organization's number, your EIN, and then type in the CAPTCHA. Prove that you're not a robot and hit continue. Now, you will be faced with one of two screens. You will either see a screen that is requiring you to request administrative access, or you will be brought into the membership application screen, which will allow you to actually completely finish your membership and move on to the nonprofit's dashboard to apply for that $10,000. If you see this screen, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and choose request administrative privileges. Google will then send an email out to the current administrator of the nonprofit's account, and they will be able to grant you access. It's most like, more than likely someone within your organization that you know, and they'll get that email and unlock the nonprofit's dashboard for you. Now, one last note before we move forward to showing you how to get that $10,000 in Google advertising, do make sure, follow my mouse up here at the top right, you're conscious of who you're logged in as. So what Google account are you currently using? Because when you sign up for Google for nonprofits, it's going to be that account that is then forever tied with that nonprofit's account. You can always right here, request administrative privileges and transfer that access, but just make sure that you're conscious of it. Now let's get to the really exciting part, guys. We're gonna go ahead and enroll for Google for nonprofits. So I have here, just a, an example nonprofit, consider it yours. And once you're into this area, we're gonna dive down where it says Google Ad Grants and choose the button that says Enroll. Now here's where it gets really exciting. This is where we actually follow the steps that Google has for us to finishing the Ad Grant enrollment. We're gonna choose AdWords because that gives us a lot more freedom and flexibility to create ads the way that we wanna see them and also set budgets in a more effective way and really drive the results that we're looking for. Google has a lot of instructions here on how to create the AdWords account, and we're gonna break it down and simplify it for you. I'm gonna just start with instruction number one, where it says create an account using the account creation guide. That's my favorite way to do it. So we come and we choose that, and we get to this area that says guide to creating an ad grants account. There's a lot of steps here as well, just like the Google for Nonprofit setup, and we'll walk you through each one. Let's go ahead and hit get started. Now we are gonna be getting started using the, the account that we were logged into to start with. <clears throat> Perfect. Now I'm logged in right now, you can see on the top right as my nonprofit, one, two, three, four, five at gmail.com. You may be logged in as an account that already has a Google AdWords account up and running. So you'll just wanna either create a new email address or enter another email address that you can use for your organization here that this AdWords account will now be associated with. Something that we like to do here at Community Boost is use something like my nonprofit ad grant at gmail.com so that you know that Gmail account is the one associated with the AdWords and the Google ad grant. We want the country to be the United States. Feel free to choose the time zone that you're in and then the currency does need to be US dollar. That's one of the stipulations that we see when we go back to the enrollment form. We'll visit that in a little bit. And we hit save and continue. All right, so we get to a screen that encourages us to create our first campaign and that's exactly what we wanna do. We can come up here and choose this button, create our first campaign.
Perfect. So we're going to walk through all of the different the different little features that need to be turned on for us to qualify for the Google Ad Grant. Going back to this tab up at the top where we're actually applying for the Ad Grant, what we're doing now is we're going through this section where we're going to be checking these boxes. So we want to make sure, like I said, the currency is set to the US dollar. We're not going to be adding any billing information. Set all of our campaigns to the search network only and at least one campaign, build out an ad, build out a keyword, and also build out an ad group. So that's what we're gonna do. There's actually a few other things that Google does not have listed here that we also wanna do to show them that we are ready for the Google Ad Grant. So I'll come back to that campaign manager that we brought up. Campaign name can be my nonprofit. Of course, you'll wanna probably make this the name of your nonprofit. Type, this is one of those, one of those features that we need to keep an eye on. We wanna have it be search network only. Oh, that's right. So you do lose any changes. So I'm glad that we kind of walked over that. So don't name your campaign until the end, until you've changed all your features. We at Community Views like to do all features because it gives us a lot more flexibility with when do we want to show our ads, their specific times, are there certain countries that we want to do it in. Now on the Google Ad Grant, you can only advertise on the Google search network. So we're not going to include search partners here. You can come down and get a little bit more creative with which locations you're targeting if you wish. Right now, the United States is fine for me. And here's one of the things that Google does not tell you on that page, which is why it's so awesome that you're watching this webinar right now. We want to choose, instead of automated maximized clicks here with the bid strategy, we want to choose a manual cost per click. With the Google Ad Grant, you may be aware of this already, you can only bid $2 Per keyword so it helps to get kind of more creative with the keywords you choose and we'll cover that later but right now we want to set the default bid to two dollars from manual cost per click and a budget of three hundred and twenty nine dollars per day rounded out to about 30 30 point four times three hundred and twenty nine equals ten thousand dollars per month but Google actually operates on a daily budget strategy <clears throat> and we don't need any of the other features down here we typically will play, play around with some more of these features before we start a campaign, but in order to actually qualify the, for the ad grant, this is all we need. Perfect. And I can come down here and hit save and continue. Now we're moving on to the next part where we actually have to show Google that we're going to have an ad group and some keywords to run once they qualify us for that $10,000 per month. So ad group name, I'm going to call this Let's say that my nonprofit is working on saving some of the Amazon rainforest. So I'll call the save the rainforest and we can write the rest of the ad. <clears throat> now this ad is mostly for getting us qualified. So it's not extremely important that we pour our heart and soul into this, but get as creative as you want here. I'm going to say protect our rainforests, join us and preserve the earth donate or volunteer today. Now there's a lot of, there's a lot of strategy that goes into writing these ads, you know, why we use all capital letters, why we use a call to action here. We're not going to be going over that today in this example, uh, but keep that in mind. There are ways that we can write more effective ads. Now, something that's important is you do want to have your organization's URL shown in what's called the display URL. You don't actually have to write necessarily a real URL here, um, but the, the beginning of it here, this highlighted part, does need to be your organization's real URL. But then past that, after you put a, a backslash, we can do something like save rainforests, or save rainforest. And then the final URL, this actually does need to be a real URL, and Google will disapprove your ad if in the final URL we don't have a real URL. So maybe the real URL is actually slash rainforest. Perfect. Keywords, we wanna come down here and find some keywords. We can either choose some on the right hand side from the sample keywords, or we can enter one per line, which is what I'll do. 
and you can put as many as you'd like to. Google suggests you start with 10 to 20. Typically here at Community Boost, we have about 20 to 30 keywords per ad group, depending on the ad group. Now we already put in a max cost per click that we, we determined earlier with our manual bidding. And we can go ahead and say set up billing later. The reason we can do that and we don't have to set up billing is again because Google is essentially going to be giving us a gift card for $329 a day or $10,000 per month to be spending. So ideally we're never going to have to spend a penny of our own money on this. Now it's going to bring us to the keywords. We want to make sure that these are both active with the green light. We want to jump over to ads here on the top, make sure that our ad is active. There it is. We wrote it earlier and we can jump all the way out to here where it says my nonprofit will be your organization's name and make sure that this campaign itself is active here. We should see the button that says enabled up there. <clears throat> and as long as we see a budget of $329 per day, we see search network only with all features, we should be good to go. We can go all the way back to our original tab that we were on. And we wanna make sure that we do check for errors. And not only do we wanna check for them in our account, we actually wanna check all these boxes as well. So we did set the currency to US dollars. We have not added our billing information. We did definitely set our campaign to the search network only, and we absolutely created an ad group with an ad and keywords. And we also have those extra credit points, which is how Community Boost is able to get some of our organizations approved so quickly by having that manual cost per click set to $2 and the budget set to $329 a day, really showing Google that we know what we're doing with our AdWords account. Now we can add, we need to add our account information. So we'll go ahead and grab that customer ID. You can come up to the very top and the way that I like to do this is highlight it, kind of come over here to the top right and drag it, right click, copy, come back here, enter it. And then however you heard about the Google ad grant, this would be a non Google event and we can submit. And it sends off. We should see now on our organization dashboard, instead of the enroll button being there, the status of application received. Google will typically take one to two business days to respond to your application. And then you should be good to go with $10,000 to your website in Google advertising. That concludes this presentation. Thank you so much for tuning in and we're excited for the difference that your organization is gonna be able to continue to make.